What's going on, YouTube gang? It's Mel DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to give my favorite plays for today, y'all. We got a six game main slate. Hope everybody's having a great day. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Press that bell icon to always stay notified for new videos. Let's get into these plays, y'all. Going to my first spot, going to our point guards. Now, we're going to pay down. Definitely like Kobe White here. 5,500 on DraftKings, 58 on FanDuel. Going against Charlotte. Yes, it's a back to back, but love this play. He's averaging 15 points a game. 12.8 field goal attempts in the past five games, averaging 32.7 face points a game. Charlotte do allow 38.4 face points, went away to the starting point guards, 32 face points in the past five games to the point guard spot. So Kobe White in a great play once again to pay down. All right, let's go to our next play, going to our shooting guards. All right, to the shooting guard spot, risky spot here with Eric Bledsoe. Now he's 5,300 on DraftKings. Love this price tag on FanDuel at 4,700. Too cheap in this play going against Orlando, which he has done well against Orlando and averaging around 33.5 phase points in the past four away games against Orlando. To me, it's a good spot for him. He's averaging 11 points, 10 field goal attempts in the past five games, averaging 26.9 phase points in the past five away games. And Orlando allows the average 33.5 phase points to the starting shooting guard spot. So if I get a guy, on, especially on FanDuel, for 4,700 to give you about 30 phase points, to me, it's a great spot. So Eric Blesso, good play for today at shooting guard. All right, let's go to our next play, going to our small forwards. Now, small forward, if I pay up, Brandon Ingram, 8,700 on DraftKings, 84 on FanDuel. Again, going against Orlando, where he's averaging 28 points, 20.4 field goal attempts in the past five games, and he's averaging 46.1 fans points. He's averaging 30.8% in usage in the past five games, and Orlando's allowing an average 32.6 fans points to the starting shooter guard spot, but Brandon Ingram is a great play to consider for today. Um, now, if I want to get for some savings, another guy I want to look at will be Najee Marshall, 5400 on DraftKings. Love the price tag on FanDuel. 4800 for a guy where we got to look into the status with Johnson because he is doubtful. When he didn't play last go around, he bought out. So Najee Marshall, once again, in a good spot here. He had 33, 44, 18, 37 in the past four games. He's getting the bump. So I love this play for him as he's averaging nine points. 4.6 rebounds, 27.8 phase points in the past five away games. And Orlando is 22nd overall versus small forward reserves. So I like this play for Najee Marshall here in this play for today. I do like another savings play with Dwayne Bacon. He did great last time we played him. We gotta look into the status with Ennis and also the status with Ross, cause they both questionable. But Dwayne Bacon could be a good spot to consider, especially on FanDuel, if you could get him for 3,800. So 3,800 for Dwayne Bacon with these guys out is a good spot to consider for value. All right, let's go to our next play, going to our power forwards. Now, power forward spot, we wanna pay up. We do have Giannis. And a great play. He's 10,800 on DraftKings, 11,000 on FanDuel. Going against Philly, which he dominates Philly. Check him out in his stats 57, 67, 73, 50, 83 in the past five games. He has been conservative lately uh, from his injury 49, 53, 32 in the past three games. So I would tread lightly with Giannis, but I just love this play for him. 29 points, 9.2 rebounds in the past five games, 50.7 phase points. And versus Philly, that allows 32 points. 8 phase points to starting power forwards. To me, it's a good spot. A small slate as he's averaging 72.5 phase points in the past six home games versus Philly. So getting those type of peripherals here in this play, to me, is a good spot. Especially if Simmons, Curry, Harris come back and play. Could be a competitive game to look at. So I like him here. Looking for some more savings. A boom or bust play will be Rudy Gay for me. Now he's 4,400 on DraftKings, 47 on FanDuel. He did have that dud last game with seven phase points, but he could bounce back here, especially going against Detroit, which he has done well with. Will be a GPP play for me, but I just definitely think he'll give you upside on the second game back to back. Like I said, he only had 19 minutes yesterday, but only six phase points. But he's averaging 9.4 points, 4.2 rebounds in the past five games. He's averaging 22.5 phase points at home in the past five. And Detroit is 27th versus power four reserves in the past five games, averaging 22.4 phase points. So Rudy Gay will be a play to consider here on the second game back to back, especially with how San Antonio used their players. 
So let's go to our last play, going to our center spot here. I'm gonna go to DeAndre Ayton, 6,500 on DraftKings, 75 on FanDuel. To me, it's a good spot, even though it's a back-to-back. -back. He did have his down game last night where he only had 24 face points, but he could definitely have an uptrend in this play as he's done well in the past two games against Boston at Boston at that where he's averaging 50 fans points in the past two games he's averaging 16.5 rebounds in both of those games at Boston so 16 points 10 rebounds in the past five games averaging 34.8 fans points and hopefully he could bounce back from yesterday's game Boston allows an average 35.8 fans points to the starting centers 37 in the past five to the center spot allowing 16 points 9.4 rebounds a game so deandre Aiden should eat here versus thompson as well i think it's a good spot for him here where he'd be lower owned another good spots here uh, we gotta look at the status with Plumley and how they're going to utilize him on the second game back to back but definitely like isaiah stewart once again 5,800 on DraftKings, 55 on FanDuel. He came from the bench yesterday and we gave him a 19 face point game. But as you can see, 51, 41, 51 in the past four games. Something to consider for him if he starts here because San Antonio to do allow an average 37.2 to the starting centers, around 9.7 rebounds a game to the spot. And he's averaging around 12 rebounds a game in the past five games. So definitely like Isaiah Stewart here if he gets to start for today. Now we got to get some more value spots, y'all. I gotta give you some value plays. I definitely like Drew Eubanks. All right, 3,900 on DraftKings to me is a great play. 42 on FanDuel, but I just love this play more so on DraftKings, especially on the second game back to back. He's averaging 9.2 points, 7.6 rebounds in the past five games, averaging 24.8 fans points a game. And Detroit allows an average 32.8 fans points in the past five center reserves. So good spot for Eubanks here. Hopefully give you that eight times value as you can see. 31, 25, 25, 39, 24, 17. This guy is a great play on DraftKings at 3,900. So these are my plays, y'all. Like the plays, give a thumbs up. Any questions, comment below using Draft Dashboard Tools. If you want the rest of my player pool, click the links, a dollar up to 30 days. Once you sign up, you get access to the NBA cheat sheet, your sleepers, and your studs. Click on the watch players. You get access to my player pool up top for watch Mills DFS picks, be the DraftKings or FanDuel. So I love y'all, man. Y'all collect that bag. It's Mills DFS, and y'all stay blessed. And I'll see y'all in the next video.